You guys uh, came up with questions on Twitter about the new character Hazard. So we picked a handful of them. Um, and this is Alec Dawson. Hey, y'all. How you and, doing? And uh, head of uh, balance, right? Uh, gameplay designer. Oh, gameplay designer. Yeah, yeah we. I thought you do a lot of the balance. Uh, I work with the bounce team, like, okay. you know, Josh and the, and the other bounce guys, but a lot of us getting the heroes together, maps together, things like oh, that. Okay, yeah. awesome. Um, just as a heads up, chat, we did not do any lore questions because uh, Alec is uh, more gameplay focused. Just as a heads up. Okay, so the first question chat has came up with is what hero combos work really well with Hazard? There's a few. Uh, I, th I think it, one that you might see a little bit, depending on like what map it is, is uh, May and Hazard can play pretty well together in terms of like the double wall. <laughs> I mean, that can be pretty mean. I, I think Hazard, like, th there's a few things to this gameplay that you want to like play with and play around. So he can stay in the fight a decent amount of time, right? Uh, maybe because he can cycle between his right click and his primary fire. Yeah, because I the right click actually reloads your ammo. Um, oh, it does? Yeah, yeah. So, right. so if, while you're using oh. spike guard, you actually be re slowly reloading your ammo. So you just have like a lot of offensive pressure you can maintain. Um, okay. So other heroes that can do that with him, like Reaper can do that with him. Okay. You know? And heroes that can actually sustain him as well. You know, sometimes that might be like a Juno or might be like an Ana. Like you okay. would like some type of high healing there. Um, but that's, I, that's some of the stuff. And, and, you know, he can also dive, has some bursty combos. So I, I thought he was with him. mostly like a uh, Doomfist type vibe as yeah, well. Yeah, he's kind of, yeah, he's a little hybrid-y. Yeah, right. I really didn't get to play him on the stage. I played him here a little bit, okay. but he was a lot of fun. Sadly, I learned that the shift is very small, so I couldn't use his shift oh, a lot. on your keyboard. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can also, like, uh, it's, well, the, the slashes at least bound to melee as well. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, I really wanted to work with May over there as well. I think Poco. I, were you, did you watch the show match? Yeah, yeah. Poco, Poco played a lot yeah. of the May, and we. Uh, it was a. It was a great. So it was. It was nice that you mentioned that. Another one is what type of playstyle works best with Hazard? Yeah, I mean, Easy is pretty versatile, right? So depending on the map, you're gonna be playing a little bit differently. You know, uh, you have a lot of mobility with Spike, uh, with the Jagged Ball there, right? So, I, I think on certain points, you know, if if you look at say. Anubis Clash, right? You're playing on point C. Like, he's going to actually try to defend that choke. You know, he's able... We can, he can go to the pillars and everything and climb up. But, yeah. you know, the wall and the choke is a pretty tight choke. Very, very good there. Uh, but then if you're playing something that's a bit more dive oriented, he can adapt to that. He can get around. He can dive in. You know, you have your violent link combos. You can take down squishies pretty fast. So, uh, you, you know, you can play a variety of ways, honestly. He's pretty... Ma he can be a little bit map dependent, though. Okay, yeah, I noticed that like in a very wide open area, he can't really wall someone off and separate yeah. them. Yeah. But uh, because we played on Oasis, so uh, it it worked well on I think University mm -hmm. with, that, with that little uh, choke. But that was a lot of fun. Yeah, one thing about Hazard, like you'll find is if if you're fighting the other tank too much, you're probably not getting a lot of value. You know? Yeah. He's not gonna be like right in Reinhardt's face, just just <laughs> trading damage that way. It's not the way you want to play him. The really cool thing about Hazard that I thought it was uh, when you start blocking, I thought you do damage to everyone around you, but no, it's a little cone. Yeah, a little frontal cone. Yeah, yeah it's the decals is, like drawn yeah, on the ground. That's and cool. Yeah, that's cool. I I really like yeah. that design. There was it, there was one version where it was 360 actually. Oh, was so, it? Uh, yeah, but but we wanted just like you know it, it felt a little bit too free. Yeah, you know, we wanted a little bit of the aim there, and then the defensive uh, damage resistance that you're getting too. That was also 360, but it feels oh, wow. better when that's like only from the front, so you can kind of outplay it. Right? So can you like pulse him from the back, and he'll do like the full damage of the pulse? Was that? If you pulse him from the back, yeah. Like, if like you're hitting from the back wall, he's in spike guard. He's taking full damage. Okay, for Doomfist, it doesn't work like that, does it? Uh, no, Doomfist is also frontal damage resistance. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I thought if you pulse him like on his back, he'll like also like just. Uh, Take the damage. Take a, take a look. No, it, it should work on Hazard. Let's take a look, though. Okay. Yeah. Okay, awesome. That's pretty cool. That's interesting, chat. Uh, what archetype exactly were you trying to make him first into? What what archetype were we trying to make? Yeah, I mean, exactly. Where, where we, we really started was, like, looking at the, like, we had this idea of the spike motif. Okay. Right? It was, like, okay, like, lots of spikes. Like, character has, like, it spikes all on his back. Like, when, how can we, what, were, what do we want to do with that? Um. And, but it was really about offense and defense being one and the same. It's this character that he was going to shoot you with spikes, but then he was going to defend himself with spikes. I like that, um, yeah, So that's it cool. wasn't necessarily that we were trying to fit him into an archetype. Um, I think the archetype stuff really came along as the kid like, found its own cohesion. Uh, once we got the Jagged Wall in place, that's when Vault kind of came about. Where it's like, oh, 
Now he can be pretty hyper mobile. Like look at the other thing he can do. He can move around a lot, and just he, we made him really active. Um, mm -hmm. There's some weight changes that I think actually helped his loop out quite a bit. Um, the violent link was on a higher cooldown, a little bit, little bit uh, more damage, but we brought it down to make sure he could just do that quite a bit. Okay, that that brings us to another question. That, since you already mentioned it, I'll I'll skip a few over here and go back. They said, why a vault and not a full climb? Well, I mean, part of it is like it's this big burly tank, yeah. right? I mean, I don't think he's gonna be as nimble as you know Genji yeah, or, for sure. or, or or Kiri, right? So. Part of it's that, like, in terms of, like, when we're looking at the animation of the heroes and how they should actually look when they move around, it didn't make sense for him to be, like, you know, yeah. spazzing out and, like, <laughs> climb up super fast. Like, he's he's pretty muscular. He's got a big build. He climbs a little bit slower. And, and, and one of the things with that, we think sometimes, like, that sort of restriction makes you think even more about the map geometry because you're a little mm -hmm. bit limited. So then you start playing with your spike, your jagged wall more, right? Mm -hmm. So and you start using your abilities in... in uh, you start using the abilities back to back with Violent Leap, so it makes you think about how you're gonna actually link everything together. Yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of cool like combinations that you can do. Yeah. That's cool, awesome. That's cool. I like that. When I first used them, it didn't really feel. I, I saw the vault, but he he can climb pretty pretty well. It's still pretty decent, you know, yeah. like uh, like new Numbani like point A like like the point you can actually like, get to like that second high ground there oh like, cool okay know, so it's, wow it's, yeah were there any abilities or creatives that did not make the final iteration that you wish were in the game now i wish were in the game now like with with, <laughs> with hazard in particular yeah. uh, okay so one thing we've been I looking like at with some tanks is like deployable shields again okay. like deployable barrier like we like, kind of like that or older reset design but it's like where does it fit um so there was an iteration of hazard's wall that was a, a deployable barrier, right? Okay. So it's kinda, it kind of worked like a recess, but then it had spikes on it, too. Uh, so if you like, got close to oh, it, it would shoot you. That's uh, interesting. But one of the things, it, it made it a little hard to understand the use case for the hero. Okay. And then the, the read on it was a little bit difficult. It was like, oh, that's a barrier, right? Okay. I got to shoot this thing. But then it also had this damage on it, too, component. Mm -hmm. So it made it a little bit hard to actually visualize it in the world. And it was like, do I run through it? Do I... Do I not run through it? When it's like a solid structure, you get a bit easier of a sense of like what oh, this for is. Oh, sure. So uh, that was one we 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 played up a few times. Like we like that sort of barrier, but uh, hasn't found its home just yet. Okay, that's cool. I like how you're like with hazard or like in general. Is there I anything? Think maybe in general, if we you know if we when we look at our next tank, like that might be something we look at. But we'll see like what sort of like archetype they start in. <laughs> when I when I first mentioned the uh, what do you call it? Were there any abilities or like anything that for the final uh, iteration that are in the game now? You were like for for Hazard or in the game in general? I'm curious what's in general now. Oh, I mean, I think if you look at Overwatch Classic, like one of the things are like, oh, should we put Bastion's old ult back in? You know, I, I think that was that's what I I keep asking. I keep telling <laughs> Chat that I feel yeah. like Bastion's ult in Overwatch One with his kit in Overwatch Two would yeah. be amazing. And, and w one of the reasons that uh, that we changed it though is like the read on Bastion where it's like is he in the tank form or is he just in you know is he just rolling around in uh, configuration right which one's mm -hmm. actually gonna like uh, assault there so like which one's actually going to be like can you make a very quick read on like how they, how different oh, they are yeah okay um, and maybe there's something we could do to actually help you be able to differentiate the two uh, but it is a really fun old, like it is. Yeah, it's really cool. Especially, uh, I did content with uh, Bash and Main, and he was like doing the little bunny yeah, hops yeah. and everything, and cool. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, okay, this is a great question. What was the silliest bug or interaction you guys had when developing and testing the hero? God, there's there's so many. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, there was this one like a lot of times in the like hero select screen there's like super cursed like animations uh -oh. that are happening that are very tense the hazard for the longest time just like would look at you but like oh, his whole face was like all messed up uh <laughs> there, there's things like that I, there was like an inst the wall was instantly killing people at one point if it was directly <laughs> placed underneath you it would just deal like insane amounts of damage and they would just blow up um so <laughs> that you know, would have been pretty yeah, fun yeah, to yeah, see yeah yeah just a, just a few uh, the spikes were like going in like crazy directions for a while. Okay. Uh, stuff like that during <laughs> spike guard. So they like fly at you, but you're like, wait, I'm like <laughs> not even near you or behind you or something. Uh, I like that. That's yeah. funny. That must have been fun to see, at least in like testing. 
Yeah. You, put, you put up the wall. It's not supposed to do that. But then it one shots you, and you're just like, oh. <laughs> you're like, what happened? <laughs> uh, no, but but ha Hazard uh, overall was like a lot of fun to do a bunch of testing uh, with. Yeah. When you, uh, I, I, you guys mentioned this before, but when you develop a character, it's uh, it's well over a year, right? Yeah, he got started. I would, I think it was like last sometime last summer. Wow. Uh, late, okay. Late last summer, around like August, around there. Okay. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, actually, so Hazard and Juno uh, during the development, they actually switched places. Uh, Hazard was going to be uh, the hero that came out in okay. you know, season twelve. Uh, he ended up being moved to season fourteen because there's just stuff we needed. We needed to polish up. We needed okay. to really lock down the kit, get everything uh, tidy, and the, the extra time really helps there. And Ju Juno was a character that really like had a really good start, so we mm -hmm. felt confident that we could actually like make that switch between the oh, two. Oh yeah, by far. Yeah. Juno, Juno's really fun, and you see, we see a little of Juno today. So this would have been all different. Like yeah. Hazard. Oh yeah, that would have been yeah, definitely, definitely different. Yeah. That would have been crazy. And then uh, you brushed up on this because you guys, you said you switched to Juno and Hazard, but did you ever consider Hazard for a DPS instead? No, no. I, I mean, a lot of times when we do start our heroes, we that's one of the things we're like, okay, we're going to make a support, we're going to make a damage character, we're going to make a tank. Uh, we, we knew we wanted to make another tank in particular. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, he's, he's been the ta tank okay. from the start. Actually, when we were prototyping him, uh, <laughs> he was actually like a – the temporary model was like Roadhog with like these like little spikes at the at the end of it. Okay. He was like firing spikes out of his hands, uh, like a, like they're like Reaper shotgun animations on okay. Roadhog and everything. So it's a little crazy. That's, that's must, that must be cool to see. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like you're messing around with all the characters and whatnot. Yeah, they they can look pretty silly for a while there until we get like the temp model in, and then it's like, oh, okay, now the character looks real. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. I like that. Uh, this is a great question. I don't. <laughs> Megan allowed this one. So they said, what the hell were you thinking about when adding a tank with a wall climb ability? Uh, I mean, I, no, it's, <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> I, I, I think in particular, we did, we wanted to have another tank that really had a lot of mobility, but mobility in the way that like you thought about the map and where mm -hmm. you're going to go, like how you like actually like route your abilities. I, you know, I think we have one, we have a tank that does that to an extreme amount in Wrecking Ball, all right? Mm -hmm. But how can we kind of, like, find, like, a nice, like, middle ground for that? And I think that's where the vault came through. Okay. I yeah. like that. That's cool. Uh, and then this is going to be interesting. Uh, someone said, what is your favorite ability and why? On, yeah. On Hazard. I would say Violent Leap, probably. I think there's a lot of ways you can, you know, utilize it. Um, it's, it's relatively shorter range uh, compared to, like, Winston Leap and okay. things of that nature. But then once you understand the range, you can do, you know, it, it's an ability that really showcases just, like, skill curve, right? Mm -hmm. So the first time you use it, you kind of just, like, jump and slash at people, right? You're like, okay, I, 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 get, I get the ability. And then, and then you start playing it more, then you're, like, you're jumping, then you're using primary fire, then you're slashing. Oh, so and you then, have, like, this whole combo. And then you're doing the melee, like, a, you know, so the, and after that, now you're jumping, primary fire, shooting them all behind them, slashing, melee, like, all back to back to back. Okay. So... Once you really lock it down, you're like, now I can eliminate squishies of it like pretty fast if you actually get like all the headshots and everything. Mm -hmm. So that ability in particular, you can understand like people are getting better at hazard just like how they're using it. Okay, um, I, I think that's a great ability. I never thought of like actually comboing everything. I, it's <laughs> really quick. You have to do the sequence yeah. pretty fast, and then you're like all in the air like while you're doing yeah. that. So yeah, it can that's be actually hard. pretty cool. I like yeah. that. And I, can you can you do the jump and then hit the wall and then wall climb? Yeah. Okay, there's yeah, a lot yeah. of cool things that you yeah. can do. Yeah, and you can, like, uh, so you can, with vault, you can vault up, and then you can leap, and then you can, it resets your vault. So, like, oh, wow, okay. If you actually vault up, uh, so you're vaulting up, and then you just finally leap up, you'll then reset. You can oh, reset. that's interesting. Yeah. Okay, so I like he, that. He has a lot of, like, little tricks there. Okay. And you can, like, you can bunny hop uh, the violent leap, too, so you get a little bit extra range and things okay. like that. Okay, is that, like, the old school Genji where he could use the, like, climb and then double jump and then get on the wall again, like, climb? Yeah, or did yeah, he yeah, yeah. a little bit of that. But, you're, you know, you're, sp you're spending the cooldown, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so that's cool. That's interesting. Yeah. Most interesting hazard development story. Do you have one? God, most interesting... Hazard development story. I think one of the things that was really hard uh, was answering the question of like, when does a tank feel like a tank uh, in Overwatch oh. 2? Because in playtests and what a lot of players are looking for is like, they want to see the value the tank is bringing to the whole team, right? Okay. And, and sometimes it's, that can be difficult. And I, I think we have a lot of troubles with that with Wrecking Ball in terms of like, sometimes it's hard for 
players would be like, oh, like I have Ball on my team, and he's doing this for all of us, right? Uh, with Hazard, that was, we we had like the leap in, we had the spike guard in, but it was not until the wall came in, Jagged Wall was like, oh, now I understand like how Hazard's playing, like what I should do with him. He's walling off like enemies, and I understand the value he's bringing as a tank like to our mm -hmm. team. Uh, before that, just felt like a, you know more of a bruiser, more of a big DPS. Uh, but that kind of like separated like where he fits in, and also where his niche can be. You know, mm -hmm. where he can find a bit more use case with certain maps. So yeah, that's what I felt like he was going to be most used in. Like that little corridor, you got to walk in. Yeah. He just walls you, and then like just brute brute force tank you. Be pretty brutal. Yeah. What's interesting is that someone are saying uh, people are already making two hundred and seventy-five yeah. HP yeah. combos. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we'll, we'll see. We'll see how. You know how frequent that is, and over time, if the players like get too good, maybe we have to tune, tune some stuff down. But it can be really strong. I yeah. feel like that, that's another character for like a lot of Doomfist players. Yeah, I mean, I think we always like like combo centric characters yeah. because it's like part of what like makes Overwatch special. You know, hitting all the buttons in the sequence and doing something like that mm -hmm. is pretty fun. Okay, does this golden weapon include golden spikes? I don't know the answer. I don't think so, but oh. I don't know the answer to that, actually. Oh, that, that's, yeah. a yeah, that's a good question. That's a good question. That's a good question. What metrics do you guys look at when you're testing uh, balance before launch, and is there any nerfs to you that you're already planning? Um, so, you know, it's quick play data, like, yeah. during the weekend, so it's not we're not going to like, be looking, like, strictly at the win rates or things like that. But we are going to be looking at, okay, like, where does he rank in terms of, where his damage output is compared to the rest of the cast. Where is he like where his with his deaths, things of that nature. And but it, I think for these trial weekends, it's really more about feedback. It's really about yeah. are players enjoying the hero? Are they enjoying his kit? Is it all coming together? Are they learning the hero? Like how fast are they learning the hero? What abilities are standing out? Is anything awkward? Are there any bugs? You know, so that's really what we're looking at. Uh, I, I think before launch, we'll have to go in on Monday and take a look at all the data. So <laughs> talk, talk to Josh and the balance, uh, the balance guys, and okay. you know, see where we end up. But I think he's in a pretty good state. I wouldn't imagine anything extreme happening up or down. He'll be like right around this. Okay. So you think yeah. he's like ready for launch, give or take? A I few think things. I think he's pretty close. There, there's one thing we were talking about the other day is whether like Violent Leap's cooldown should start when you initiate the leap or when you do the slash, because okay. as the opponent. Like, you're trying to get a read on, like, when that's going to be up again. Uh, but it's sometimes if he has, like, a, a bigger leap and then he slashes, you're like, oh, when is this going to – when's he going to be able to, like, jump out again? Okay. And it's easier to understand if it, like, happens at the end of it. But we'll have to take a look at that. And okay. Because then it gets a little weird with, like, all the – where his cold ends end up. Okay. So. Does Winston start as soon as you use it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that would be kind of interesting and on par with, like, you know, how everything is. Okay. Well, it would be, be a little bit different. Um, oh, but so, if, but if we're trying to figure out like where that cooldown cycle is like tuned correctly. It's, okay, it's pretty low right now. So okay, awesome. Well, thank I you. I think we'll, we'll probably keep him active though. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. I'm really looking for the play. He he's actually a really fun tank, and uh, I love I love those DPS tanks. So because yeah. I'm a, you know yeah. DPS yeah. player, so yeah. I, I kind of like the playing them. But I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Cool. Thank yeah. you. Cheers. Uh, sit, chat guys, say thank you. That was Alec. Chat. Yeah. You okay, guys better okay. say thank you or I'm going to ban time. you guys all. Enjoy the rest of the game. Yeah, thank Enjoy you likewise. Show. Okay, friends. YouTube thinks you might like this next video, so let me know if they're right.